First off, I wanna say, I love you guys. I don't think I would do half of the videos about these jeans that I do if you guys didn't ask for them. Speaking of which, you guys asked for a video on the Kirkland Signature Men's Jean that you can get from Costco for $13.99. So I'm gonna try this jean with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes and we're gonna see what this jean is like. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey guys, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel and thank you for always suggesting different jeans videos for me. If you have any suggestions about jeans that you wanna see with different kinds of boots or wanna know more about the qualities, then leave it in the comment section below and I will take a look at those and add them to my list when I can. The cheaper ones get added a lot faster, guys. You know how it is, so when I saw that you asked for a $13.99 jeans. I jumped right at it. This is the Kirkland Signature Jean. Let's get straight into the rundown. Yeah, this is the Kirkland Signature Men's Jean that you can get from Costco. This is their blue color, so they are definitely saving money on creativity. The fit is described on Costco.com as a relaxed fit and mid rise. It's 100% cotton and it's kind of heavier than I thought it was going to be coming in at 14 and a half ounce denim. They also have a lot of sizes on Costco's website guys. I was able to actually get a stackable size for me. When I get straight leg jeans I like to do a 32 36 because I like how it stacks and it also allows them to shrink up in the dryer. It also has a zip closure. These are made in Madagascar and coming in at $13.99 at Costco.com. Now let's try these on and see what they look like. Just so you guys know, I lost the initial footage of these when they were new, so I already washed and dried these twice, so there is some shrinking. Let's start with the Roper Toe. This is an Ariat Roper with a 10-inch top and just over an inch heel. And it's doing a great job stacking here. Uh, there is virtually no bucket at all, which I love to see on these shorter boots. Let's go over to a Uto. This is a Hondo 2670 with a two inch heel and a beautiful 14 inch red top. And while these jeans do stack well, the thighs are relaxed and don't do anything great for my legs and glutes, but what can you expect for $14? All right, let's move it on over to the Boulet 7031. This has a one and a half inch heel with an R toe and it comes in at 12 inches tall. The mid rise of these jeans is comfortable. It's not too high and not too low. It just sort of sits naturally on the waist. Let's keep things going with a BNV J toe. This is a water buffalo calf boot with a one and five eighths inch heel and a 13 inch top. This jean is made to fit most people and it's really obvious it's doing a decent job considering that it's so average looking though. Here's our first exotic of the day. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Snip Toe with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. And while these jeans look fine with plain leather boots, the fit here is okay but it literally cheapens the exotic dress boot look, proving to me that these are not dress jeans at all. Let's keep it going with a narrow square toe. This is an Ariat Ventec Ultra boot with a two inch heel and a 11 inch top. The jean looks ready for work here and it just doesn't care how dirty it gets. And that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting from the boots and the jeans. So these work well together. And it's back to another exotic here with the Boulet 8502 for the French toe example. This has a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. French toe is also called dress toe by many folks. And while this is working better than the snip toe Caymans, it's still no dress jean and isn't helping these boots look any better. All right, let's finish things off with a Twisted X Tech X boot for the wide square toe example. This has a one and three eighths inch Stockman heel and a 12 inch top. 
Again, this is the type of boot that you might not care to get scuffed up a bit, and the jeans look ready for that too. It's stacking well again here with no bucket. Nice. All right guys, so my expectations for these Kirkland jeans were set really, really low, mainly because they're made by a company that also makes tomato sauce. So I don't really think they're that dedicated to the quality of their jeans. But with that said, I was actually really surprised by these. I like the weight of them. I liked working in them. I used them in a recent review video for Twisted X Tech X Boots. That's also a giveaway video. So if you're watching this within the first week of it being posted, head on over to Enter the Win. If you're watching this after that, uh, subscribe so you guys don't miss future giveaways. I found them easier to move in than other jeans that I've tried under $20, especially at 100% cotton and a 14 and a half ounce denim. The fit is definitely relaxed around the thighs, but not as relaxed at the leg opening, which is fine for me. I think it worked really well with all of the boots that I tried in this video. I've been doing a lot of videos on budget jeans right now, just because that's where my channel is at the moment. And while these don't look the greatest, I've seen worse for this price and they fit well with all of the boots that I've tried. So. It just turned out way better than I expected, but I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think of these Kirkland jeans coming from a company that also makes tomato sauce? Let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys around. Peace. I buy my jeans and tomato sauce from the same company and I don't mind cause they fit just fine while I'm making my spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. <laughs> Why don't you check out this other jeans and boots video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.